I'm Shelley McEwen and we're in Rock Creek Park today as part of a tour with Leslie King who is the director of the Dayton Rivers Institute. As part of a, acquainting her with Rock Creek area and getting her ready for tomorrow's first ever Rock Creek Institute. Very excited, it's going to be bringing together community stakeholders, CSI faculty and students to talk about possibilities for connecting all of those aspects to curriculum, meaningful curriculum to for our students. And we're exploring the Rock Creek from the South Hills down to through town, downtown, all the way down to the Snake River. So the flows are up, you get that spring runoff, and this is when the fish would be running. And we have a packed room above the Yellow Brick Cafe, and people are engaging, they're talking, they're asking questions, which is exactly what we were hoping would happen today. We're just getting ready to break into our first workshop. students, faculty, staff, community partners, um, you know, really anyone who feels they're an owner of this Rivers Institute. That groups are talking about the vision for Rock Creek, that they see it as right now, how it sits today, and then they are discussing, and, and it looks like the conversations are, are robust and uh, energetic toward what Rock Creek could be, and they're encouraged to go get puzzle pieces that have different icons on them, representing different aspects of Rock Creek as they exist today, and then moving those puzzle pieces around, adding new ones to show what it could be. But if we clean it up, make it still look natural, but beautiful, and take away some of that fire load, you're gonna start seeing more people now. Um, I, I would like to get some meetings together that we can maybe start doing some of this stuff. It, it can't be just the Twin Falls Fire Department doing this, it has to be an entire you know, community that helps. I am really impressed with the um, diversity of backgrounds and stakeholders are in this room. So the second activity was a mapping activity. Uh, we had these ginormous, enormous maps of Rock Creek on each table, and the groups were tasked with identifying areas where they have interacted with the creek for whatever reason. And, and kind of how they claimed it themselves. What, what does it mean in terms of a connection with the creek? The intent of our last activity in our, in our conversation is to talk about the ways we can contribute and for you to self-identify your degree of contribution. They are moving toward the center if they are committed to a specific action. If their actions are more in the thinking stage, they will remain kind of on the outer rings of the circle. So it's all about what engagement are you willing to put forth on this, um, on this Rock Creek idea and uh, as a result of all the conversations that have happened today. So the groups are now talking about their own individual commitment. We would like you to go around and see what other groups talked about. Off the ground, 
we want to extend an invitation to residents of the entire Magic Valley to get involved in this initiative because it impacts every single person. This is our watershed and it's our opportunity to get involved with what's going to happen as our population increases and Twin Falls moves forward. I just want to basically say thank you. Just really, really thank you. And real work starts now, right? And um, I'm so excited to be a part of it. Um, I am not Rock Creek. I am just the person that dug in and got the bone and would not let go. So anyway, thank you for your time today and for being here and just being a part of uh, this vision.